Hey there, welcome to Southside United, time for kids. It's great to see you again. How's your week been? Hope you've had a good one. We're going to have some fun again today. Let's start with our prayer. I reckon you remember it. Can you do it along with me? Let's go. From the top of my head to the tips of my toe, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wrinkly fingers, God loves me. Yay. We're going to start with a song again today. This is a song we've sung the last couple of weeks. We've ended with it. Today we're going to start with it. Lord, I lift your name on high, remembering how awesome it is that Jesus came to be with us and to save us. Let's sing. I reckon Grover might come and visit us again today. Shall we call out? Grover! Grover! Oh, hi Richard! Hey everybody! It's good to see you all again. Oh, I've got exciting news! I've got exciting news! Grover, Grover! Settle down! Settle down! Whew! Wearing me out. What's your exciting news? I've got a treasure map! Grover, I don't think... No, no, it is! It's a treasure map! Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Look, look! Treasure, treasure, treasure! Okay, Grover. Shall we go? Oh, I'll lead the way! Are you sure about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll lead the way. Ready, ready? Let's go. Come on, it's this way. Okay, come on, Grover. Come on, come on. Treasure! Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Grover, are you sure you know the way? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. There's the way we should have all that Are you sure, Grover? Yes, yeah, come on, come on. Come on.
In the Gospels, Jesus tells some parables, some stories that tell us a bit about the kingdom of God and what's important. He tells a story of a man, a bit like Grover, who was wandering around and found a treasure in a field. And he went off and he sold what he had and he bought the field because he knew this is a great treasure that I want to have. Or he tells a story of a man who likes to collect pearls and he goes around one day he sees the greatest pearl that he has ever seen. And so he goes and sells all he has. Maybe even sells his house so that he can buy this one beautiful pearl. Jesus says that's what the kingdom of God is. This beautiful treasure. And what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is about living the life that Jesus calls us to be. To be like Jesus. And that's one of the things that we think is important at Southside United. It's one of the commitments we made at our commencement service. That we're going to focus on Jesus. And so, we need to learn. What was Jesus on about? What did Jesus do? Maybe as a family. Today, maybe over dinner. You might like to discuss, what's your favourite story about Jesus? What's the thing that Jesus did that is most special to you? Maybe you can start to read through one of the Gospels and see the things that Jesus does. Because we're called to be Christians, to be like Christ, to be like Jesus. So that means we need to discover more about who Jesus was. We're going to sing a song. It helps us to remind ourselves that we need to love God and Jesus with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. So the actions are going to be love, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Uh -huh, get at the bottom of your foot, soul, with all your mind and love all of mankind as you would love yourself and love the Lord your God, and all your heart, all your soul, mind, love all mankind. And we'll clap. Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. Can you see all those countries? Hey, our first country is Afghanistan. Its population is about 34 million. Its largest city is Kabul, which is the capital city. The official language is Pashto. Well, you can have several languages, like Dari, which is Persian, Turkish languages. Balochi and Pashai. Afghanistan is a Muslim country with 99% of its people being Muslims, while the 1% being Hindus, Sheikhs, and a Jew. The people of Afghanistan are called Afghans, and the money is called Afghanis. Don't get it wrong, Lassie. Food is generally served on the floor, on cloths made from various materials. Making use of the right hand while eating of the food is the norm. 
or the foods generally shared from the same dish unless required otherwise. Marriages are three-day lavish ceremonies during which a marriage contract is signed and the couple is brought together. That's Afghanistan, that's Kazakhstan. The population is 18 million and the capital city is Astana. The language is a Kazakh and Russian. The religions are Muslim, Russian Orthodox, Protestant and other. The currency is tangy. Kazakhs believe that whistling a song inside a building will make you poor for the rest of your life. I guess that's why I'm poor. Snow leopards live in the mountains in eastern Kazakhstan. They are notoriously shy and may grow up to 68 kilos. Kazakhs have long revered the animal for its bravery, independence and intelligence. The snow leopard is considered a national symbol for the Kazakhs. Armors, armors. Snow leopards live in the mountains in East Kazakhstan. They are notoriously shy and may grow to 68 kilograms. Kazakhs have long revered the animal for its bravery, independence and intelligence. The snow leopard is considered a national symbol in Kazakhstan. And in Kyrgyzstan, population is 6 million, capital city is Bishkek. Language is a Kazakh and Russian. Religions are Muslim, mainly, with Russian Orthodox and some others. You know, temperatures can top 40 degrees, degrees in summer in the low-lying Beringa Valley, but in the mountains they can fall to minus 30 in the winter. Brrr. Even our Scots would be cold. You know the name Kyrgyzstan comes from a word in the Kyrgyz language meaning we are 40, thought to be a reference to the original 40 clans which unified to form the country. And Mongolia, population is 3 million, capital city is Ulaanbaatar, language is a Kalak, Mongol, Turkic, and Russian. Religions are Buddhist Islamists that are and about 40% have no religion. There's also Shamist and Christian and Muslims. The currency is a Togrog or Turi. In a country of vast distances, communication can be difficult, but it is important to maintain a sense of community. People living in the Mongolian countryside will always have a bowl of warm, salty, milky tea ready for visitors. The Mongol komi or throat singing or overtone singing involves producing two simultaneous tones with the human voice. Oh, you should check it out. Tajikistan's population is about 9 million. Capital city is Dunshanbi and language is a Tajik, Russian. Religions are Sunni Muslim. 85% Shia Muslim, 5% and others are about 10% of the population. The currency is a Somoni. An interesting fact about Tajikistan is the name of the capital, Dunshabi. It's the word in Tajik meaning Monday. This name was given to the capital city because in history there used to be a village that hosted a very popular market every Monday. This weekly market may played an essential role in the development of the city. As of today, Dushanbe is the largest city in the country. Tajikistan is the smallest state in Central Asia. Almost the entire territory of this country, about 93% is covered by mountains. And in Turkmenistan, the population is 6 million. Capital is Ashgabat. All languages are Turkmen, Russian, Uzbek and others. Religions are mainly Muslim, with Eastern Orthodox and some unknown. The currency is the Turkmen manat. Composed of mounds of rice mixed with meat, carrots and spices fried in a large pan, clove can be found everywhere in Turkmenistan. From intimate family picnics at sacred sites to wedding celebrations, Turkmen hospitality is such that if a family sees you don't have any food with you, they typically offer you a plate of their clove to share. Here lassie, have some clove. You might have seen a lot of ferris wheels before, but the one in Turkmenistan's capital city is just unlike any other. It's one of the most fascinating things you'll see in Turkmenistan. To give you an idea how big it is, the ferris wheel is roughly 48 meters high. This ferris wheel is called Alam, which means the universe, a name that is justified, especially once night lights are switched on. Other than that, Alam holds the world record for being the largest ferris wheel that was built indoors. In fact, it also is the most beautiful building. Even the cars are air conditioned. I finally Uzbekistan, population is 33 million, capital is Tashkent, and language is spoken are Uzbek, Russian. Religion is mostly Muslim, with a bit of Eastern Orthodox and others. The currency is the Uzbekistan Sum. 
Lipushka. The bread is never laid upside down. It brings bad luck, nor is it placed on the ground, even if it's safely in a bag. The original Uzbek bread, also known as Obi Nom, or simply Nom, is flat and round and always torn by hand, never sliced with a knife. It is also never thrown out. In respect for elderly is paramount, and Uzbek never insults nor yells at his parents. I'm sure you never do that. So let's pray for them. Lord, we're thankful for the magnificent expanse of mountains, grasslands and deserts in these Central Asian countries. We thank you for the rich national resources, for the incredible ethnic diversity, for cultural traditions and practices that have been preserved for centuries and with the challenges of modernization. We thank you for Christians who, although they are tiny minority, have courage to witness to the gospel and find strength in living according to God's word. Thank you for those who, in spite of danger, dedicate their lives to serving others. Lord, we pray for the people in these lands who suffer from poverty and repressive rule. We pray for an end of clashes related to tribalism, traditionalism and modernization. We pray for the land, air and water that have been damaged by human abuse. We pray for good relations between Muslims and Christians and an end to oppression and violence. Lord, we pray for safety for all. Keep us safe. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us again. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Hope you've had fun. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're discovering about who Jesus is. We'll see you again next week. Hope you have a great week, and we might see you at the picnic on Sunday. Bye, everybody.